We say goodbye to the animal and mash on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is February 16th, 2024. It is the 47th day of the year. You got 319 days left. It is the seventh Friday in the seventh week and the 58th day of winter. There are 32 days left until spring. A little over a month. Today is National Tartar Sauce Day. French fries with ketchup. Chicken wings with barbecue sauce and fish with tartar sauce. That's the natural order of things. Sure, there are freaks in the world that like ranch dressing with their french fries, like my wife, but the natural order of things is french fries with ketchup, chicken wings with barbecue sauce, and fish with tartar sauce. These pairings of food with sauce are classics that just about anyone will love. And today is the day we celebrate the tartar sauce. All right, let's see what else February 16th has given us. 1862, the American Civil War. Ulysses S. Grant captures Fort Donelson in Tennessee. Fort Donelson was a fortress built in early 1862 by the Confederacy during the American Civil War to control the Cumberland River, which led to the heart of Tennessee, and thereby the Confederacy. The fort was named after Confederate General Daniel S. Donelson. Now, what's interesting about this fort is it was built by the Confederate Army, or the Confederate States, whatever, and it only stayed in their control for like a month. It was completed between the 10th and the 12th of January, 1862. So in early February of 1862, Ulysses S. Grant had been making his way towards this fort. He knew about it, and he figured that if he took over the fort, it would, for the most part, split the Confederacy. On February 6th, Grant was ordered by General Henry Halleck to assault Fort Donelson immediately and capture it by February 8th. Grant made a reconnaissance, observed the natural obstacles and Confederate improvements, and knew that the fort would not be taken by the 8th. He organized his troops by moving cavalry into position and getting gunboats to assault from the river. After minor skirmishes with Confederate cavalry en route, the assault on Fort Donelson began on February 12th. On February 14th, a naval battle took place, which Union ships suffered serious damage. After some troops tried to escape Fort Donelson on February 15th, the Confederates decided that all hope was lost and surrendered Fort Donelson to the Union on February 16th. The Union troops held it till the end of the war. You know, not getting into the politics of the, you know, the Civil War and all that. The Confederates didn't do that bad for what they had. The Union Army was far better supplied and trained. 1937, Wallace H. Carruthers receives a United States patent for nylon. One thing leads to another, and women in the 1940s consider him the greatest man that ever walked the earth. Some years later, they shift their love to the man who invented Aquanet. 1945, World War II, American forces land on Corregidor Island in the Philippines. That was an ugly battle. There had been several through the years of World War II, and this one was the recapture of Corregidor. The Japanese had captured the island back in 1942. For the Japanese, it was pretty ugly because we bombed that island for days before the attack and then continued to pound that island during the attack. The attack took 10 days. In the end, the Americans had 207 killed in action, 684 wounded. The Japanese lost 6,600 soldiers. They only had 50 wounded. They took 19 prisoners. And then eventually 20 more came out of the jungle and retired after the war was over. 1945, the Alaskan Equal Rights Act of 1945, the first anti-discrimination law in the United States, was signed into law. 1968, in Haleyville, Alabama, the first 911 emergency telephone system goes into service. 1978, the first computer billboard system is created, CBBS in Chicago. If you don't know what a computer billboard system is, it was before websites and American Online and all that stuff came along. It was almost like being in a group chat with a couple hundred people. They're just talking about random stuff. Considering we couldn't do all the cool things we do on the internet right now, that was pretty interesting. I was on one in like 1983. 2005, the National Hockey League cancels the entire 2004-2005 regular season and playoffs. This was over a labor dispute. The union wanted a lot of changes and the owners weren't up for it. 2006, the last Mobile Army Surgical Hospital, or MASH, is decommissioned by the United States Army. Movies released on February 16th, 2007, Bridge to Terabithia. I read the novel, saw the movie, movie was interesting. Movies rarely live up to the book. I think Jaws was pretty good. Misery was really good compared to the book. This one was right up there with as, as good as it could get. This is based on a novel of the same name. This film follows two young teens as they travel to a fantasy world of their own invention. 
It's a really cute movie. If you get a chance, you got grandkids or kids, they haven't seen it, definitely watch it with them. It'll keep you interested and them. Born on February 16th, 1989, Elizabeth Olsen, younger sister to Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, who emerged as a talented horror film actress in Martha Macy May Marlene. I like her. In recent years, she's played the Scarlet Witch in the Marvel movies. She was also in 2014's Godzilla, but she played a great part in The Avengers Age of Ultron. She took ballet and singing lessons as a child and studied acting at New York University Trish School of the Arts and the Atlantic Theater Company. She won MTV Movie and TV Awards for her work in WandaVision. That was an interesting series on Disney+. Plus. If you watch it in the beginning, you'll think, what is going on here? This is like, is this a comedy? Is this a drama? What's going on? And it's really weird how they did it. But around the third episode, you start to really understand what's happening and it gets dark. Definitely worth watching though. Died on February 16th, 2017. We lost George the Animal Steel. George Steel, known as the Animal, was a professional wrestler whose career spanned from 1967 to 1988 with occasional guest appearances after his retirement. He played football at Michigan State University and eventually got into wrestling, then coaching wrestling. This led to his wrestling career with the WWF or WWE, whatever it was at the time. George Steele had all kinds of health problems. He suffered from dyslexia his whole life. That didn't just come on or something like that. He had Crohn's disease. They had thought it went into remission, but then it came back. He had his colon removed. Eventually, on February 16th, 2017, George the Animal Steele died in the hospital while getting treatment for kidney failure. He was 79 years old. His actual name was William James Myers. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, be nice to each other.